Hello, this is Fred from Online Marketing Dojo. First, I want to uh, apologize. My voice has been going in and out the last couple of days, but I still wanted to get this information out to you. So if uh, my voice starts to crack a little bit, please bear with me. But I'm doing this because I wanted to talk about a basic setting in WordPress that a lot of people just gloss over. And I was equally guilty of doing the same thing. But I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about what this is, why you need to probably change this, and how you can go about doing it. And what that setting is, is the permalink settings. Now for years you've probably heard people talk about when you're doing your permalink setup, you know, you want to make sure that the category uh, is in the URL and the post the title is in the URL. And so they probably gave you something that looked like this as a permalink setting or you could just do just a post name and so all these tokens are there to do is to show people is to uh, tell the system that after your domain name so like online marketing dojo.com forward slash and this post name tells the system to put the title of your post in the URL same thing here with the category and for the vast majority of situations, that's perfectly fine. Where this might not be the best advice is if you're starting to get a site that's growing in size, you have a lot of posts, maybe a few hundred posts, a few thousand posts, or you're using a, uh, and you're using a lot of pages, what this particular structure may be doing is causing your WordPress site in general to slow down. What happens is with the category structure in WordPress, the database uh, is called by using a numerical identifier. And with pages in WordPress, those pages are called by using the actual text, the actual title of the uh, page itself. So when you're telling WordPress to use, like in this case here, you're telling WordPress to use text as the identifier for a post which is attached to a numeric category, it's going to, it, it kind of thinks that that post might be a page. And so it has to do a whole bunch of rule rewriting and all this stuff behind the scenes so that it can distinguish a post from a page. And once you get a larger start, that can definitely slow you down. And what I have found out recently, and I want to give a, a hat tip to Keith Baxter, actually a couple months ago, uh, he uh, did a post on this on AffiliateRadio.com about changing your structure of your permalink so that it maintains that numeric identifier for your posts so that the system can easily distinguish that from your uh, pages. And so this is the structure that I'm using on all my new sites. So using the post ID and the post name. And you, I'll put this also um, in the description below this video as well. So again, it just frees up uh, the computing, the processing time that it takes for it to render everything out of the database and display your URLs. Now, again, where this comes into place, I had a couple of sites where I had a several hundred different um, posts and dozens and dozens of pages. I put that on the site and noticeably saw an increase in speed. Now you might not think that is a big deal, but if you remember from Google Panda and previous updates with the way that Google and other search engines are taking a, uh, a measurement on the quality of your site, how fast your site loads is a measure of that as well. So if your site is loading slower and slower, the more stuff you add to it, that's going to hurt you in the, in the ranking. So you want to make sure that you get uh, put things in place to make it go faster. Now, if you're looking to do this on an existing site, you know one of the things you might want to consider is if you're already ranking for a lot of different things, um, you know there's one of those things that you might want to just leave it alone. But there are plugins that will allow you to not only change the uh, permalink settings, but it will automatically create a 301 redirect from the old settings to the new settings. One of those plugins is WordPress SEO from Yoast.com, uh, which is uh, Juice DeVault's site. And if you wanted to do, go ahead and download it, you can just go to the, work, the plugin directory or type it right into your site itself when you're doing a search for a plugin. It's just WordPress SEO by Yoast. He has a setting in there where it will automatically 
transfer automatically create an HT access uh, entry so that all your old URLs under your old permalink settings will redirect to your new URLs uh, via 301 redirect. So all the link juice will pass. Uh, so again, if you're already well positioned with an old site, it's one of those things where you know you can uh, uh, probably leave it alone uh, if you don't want to go through this or you're not sure of how to do it. Although this plugin will show you how to, but if you're putting up new sites, you definitely want to go to this newer structure um, and uh, and let WordPress SEO help manage that for you. It's a free plugin, um, so you can uh, get that at any point there. So that is it for now. I just wanted to show you kind of a common mistake that most of us make with our permalink structures in WordPress. Um, and like I said, I made this mistake for a long time as well, not taking into account database loading speed. <laughs> so uh, again, you know, if you have a larger site or a site that you plan on growing out uh, to be pretty big, uh, again, several hundred, several thousand pages, you might want to go ahead and uh, and uh, do a this particular uh, WordPress permalink structure where you're using post ID. If you have a small mini site, uh, you know, 10, 20 pages, probably don't have anything to worry about if you have a small site. Uh, so anyway, that is it for now. If you have any questions, please leave them below this video, whether you're on YouTube or if you're on OnlineMarketingDojo.com. Uh, if you have questions, if you need anything, any clarification, I'd be more than happy to answer uh, your questions about that. And as well as I'll put a, a resource as to where I got this information from myself, uh, which was from a uh, database programmer. So that is it. Thank you for watching and look out for the next video.